working on a compact furniture dolly. So I firstly came up with this project idea. It's because my grandma always find it hard to vacuum under the sofa, which made me to start thinking maybe I could do something for her to help her dust under the sofa. And also we think it's a common problem faced by people during movie is how to move large, large pieces of furniture such as sofa, mattress, table, refrigerator, etc. conveniently without damaging them. A traditional dolly is usually incapable of carrying such large pieces, and a two dolly is um, too expensive and is very likely to damage furniture. Also, for people who want to change positions for their furniture regularly to get a fresh look for the house, it is inconvenient to ask someone for help every time, and even pure human labor can be inefficient sometimes. Our group wanted to design a dolly system that can load large pieces of furniture onto multiple wheels, fix relative positions of carrying wheels using frames, and to furniture without hassle. Before the design process, our group decided to focus on sofas as our scope for this project. We did a market research on clearance under the sofa, and we found about 63% sofas in market had a clearance higher than 14 inches, which means as long as our furniture dolly can be slide in a clearance less than 14 inches, it will work fine with most of the sofas in market. We have four design concepts for our project. Concept one and two utilize adjustable bars that slide inwards outward the slot to achieve the collapsible modular base frame that will pick virtually any rectangular shaped furniture. At the end of the bar are wheels which will allow a horizontal movement across a smooth or a carpeted surface. At the ends are also air jacks which are used to lift the furniture up. These air jacks are inflated using a foot pump. The difference between concept one and two is that concept one uses a cross-shaped frame while concept two uses a C-shaped frame. Concept 3 and 4 utilize foldable wheel at the end to further reduce space occupancy of the dolly. We evaluated our design concepts using the scoring matrix designed based on results of customer interview, and we decided to combine the structure of concept 1 and 2 and add the idea of foldable wheels from concept 3 and 4. After performing engineer analysis, including simulation, stress check, and interference check, finally our design looks like this. It has a C-shaped frame, while the two legs can slide in and out. A hinge and a double hinge are used so that legs can also be folded into compact form. Air jacks are attached near the corner. To the budget limit, we used only four, uh, we used four separate foot pumps uh, to pump the airbags. So the problem is that they cannot be inflated simultaneously. An upgrade to the current prototype can be connecting all four pumps together and using an electric pump to pump up all airbags at the same time. Linkages can also be added in between the middle leg and side legs so that the frame is fixed after unfolding and the dolly can be more stable. So some of the performance goals for a working prototype was that it could support up to 500 pounds of um, material um, set on it and at the same time it was a compact, easy to set up and stow um, product in which it could be adjusted to fit various dimensions. And another critical performance requirement was that it had to be um, low enough so that it could fit under the small clearance between the floor and the furniture. Some of the engineering analysis that we did uh, include an interference check and a stress analysis. For the interference check, we did a SOLIDWORKS simulation um, to see whether um, any of the folding mechanisms and the double hinge mechanisms would result in um, conflicts with uh, the parts. And we did a stress analysis on the fully extended frame in which we loaded 500 pounds to see um, whether any um, specific parts on the frame would yield. And we found that the maximum stress which happened at the center of the um, arm 
was about 52 megapascals, which did not um, exceed the yield strength of the steel. The DSM risk assessment is joining the table, and we also created a heat map. Uh, the biggest risk that we were worried about was the lifted function because we couldn't afford the electric system that we wanted at first, so we had to use uh, airbags. The airbags had a very low initial height, so we had to attach wood blocks between the airbags and the frames. Another risk that we were worried about was uh, the parts being broken because the whole system was very heavy due to uh, the heavy weight of the frames and also the system should be able to support um, the heavy weight of furniture. So we used um, many bolts and nuts to connect parts to prevent uh, the joints from being broken. The, the table shows the cost accounting so far, we used about $250, and our budget was $276, so our cost uh, is slightly lower than the budget 